Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Typeform with WordPress. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at typeform.com or log in to our existing account. In this video, I will show you how we can make this integration work by using third-party app because we won't be able to use Typeform to make this integration happen. We are going to use automate.io. Uh, I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And once we are here, let's go to the top corner of our screen and click on integrations. Once this pop-up window show up, we want to go to the bottom left part of it and click on see all categories. Now it's time for us to pick a uh, first app that we want to integrate. In our case, it's Typeform, like this. And now it's time for its counterpart, which will be WordPress, like this. Now we have some popular integrations already pre-made it for us by Automate to make our work easier, for example, like add post in WordPress on a new form entry in type form. But if we won't be able to pick any of this, we want to uh, scroll down to reach uh, create your own integration option. Just remember on the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to go and you want to start with type form. On the opposite side, underneath the action, you really want to go with WordPress. Once you pick your integration options, let's go and click on try it now button. We can redirect it to automate.io signup page. So the last thing we have to do is to log in or register our account at automate.io and we are basically done. We can also use zapier.com, which is very similar app to automate. Uh, we also need to create an account here and once we do that, let's go to the bottom left, uh, to the upper part of our screen on the left side and click create set. Same as at automate, our trigger starts with type form. Trigger event, let's go with a new entry, continue. Now we have to log in to our type form account. Now we have to pick the workspace that we are working on or the project in my time step for test continue and now we can test our trigger between typeform and zapier on the second action as you probably thought we want to go with wordpress action event yeah we have more options here let's stick to the first one and then last thing we have to do is to sign in to your WordPress account. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.